I suspect that the sight of their warship being towed by a Federation runabout took the heart out of their fight. We're not done with the Cardassians yet. Not with the strategic importance of that wormhole. Well, you've put Bay Jor on the map, Commander. This will shortly become a leading center of commerce and of scientific exploration. And for Starfleet, one of our most important posts. Hey, uh, good evening, uh, Sloppy Modeler fans. Uh, welcome to the USS Rio Grande runabout by uh, AMT Ertl, uh Polar Lights, uh, round two now. Uh, we are uh, making great strides with the paint, and uh, a lot of things have, have really come together uh, over the last day or so. So let's just talk a little bit about where we're at and uh, how uh, I've managed to get here on a few pieces and then uh, we'll talk about uh, the, the next steps. So this is uh, uh, update number three, uh, the first half of update number three and I'm just going to show you some of the paint that we've put in place here and show you um, uh, some of the, the things that I do in order to get uh, this uh, to, to come through. So uh, let's start with the bottom here first, the bottom of the hull. As you know all of these um, all of the LED strips are down. They've been glued down, super glued down, and uh, they are ready to go. So on the bottom here, I started with primer, and then um, essentially I put one layer down, which is already uh, layer primer, and then I, I started with one color. So this is going to be a four-color base or five-color here with the brown. Um, but so essentially uh, what I've done is I've painted... Uh, a full color here, and then this brown taped over it. This is that um, the the ridge around the bottom, which is right here, and uh, so I painted over that and taped it. That's had another color put into it. That's got another color at the bottom of the warp core, um, and then what I'll do is tape off this. Uh, uh, I'm not sure what color. That's a light blue. It's called actually uh, cloud. So it's virtually the same color that the original hull styrene was as it came raw from, from round two. So the next step, I'm going to let this paint dry overnight, is to, to tape off these, these final parts and then lay on a coat of the, um, the light gray uh, XF66, uh, I think is the number of that. And um, again, the sides have all been done and... Uh, sprayed two or three different colors. So this will be a five color hull. I'll do have to do the detail painting on the bottom of that uh, that tan engine or whatever it is when it's it's all said and done. So that is the bottom of the hull as it sits. The wings have been um, completed and again this has got the multicolor so I did the detail painting here on the sides with the orange and the red and then a, a light light gray in here different colors uh, four or five different colors. As you can see, the phaser arrays, the uh, phaser strips have been painted their tan uh, throughout. And essentially, just a real quick, that's kind of what that's going to look like uh, when that is in place. And again, none of this is, is in, but that's that's the, the general idea of, of how that, that side piece goes in. Wrapping that light blue around here, again, again, that's that ocean color. And uh, uh, a little phaser arrays has been painted. Uh, this dental molding has been painted a different color and then a real light uh, different type tan gray uh, for just a real subtle accents in there and then I'll get a, po a full coat of gloss over this uh, if it gets detail or decals and I'll have to look at where the decals go and I'm only going to gloss where the decals are uh, so that it's done. Here are the side pieces that go uh, essentially um, in here I'm not sure that's probably the wrong side, of course, as it is. Um, but what that happened is, is that those were painted with the brown. And then um, on the piece, just like that. So those were painted brown with uh, gunmetal or metallic gray, actually, is what that color is. 
And I think that'll look nice in contrast to all the other pieces that are in there. I think that'll look really nice um, once that is on play. And then it'll get, of course, a light blue as the color scheme inside of that uh, intake. So both of those will have to be hand painted uh, uh, as we go. So the wings have been done. The um, nacelles and the, um, the wing strips have been done. That will light up. And these have been glued and the wires start to run. So essentially when that goes on, the wires get run down into these holes right here and here. Um, and then uh, the other piece will be the phaser, uh, the sensor array, the roll bar, that that goes over that yet. And uh, so all that, like I said, putting this together from start to finish is going to be, I don't want to say wire, wiring nightmare, but it's definitely going to be um, a challenge. So this is the, the back, and essentially what happens here is that that piece sits on just like that. So I'll have to um, run this wiring through there, uh, glue this piece together, glue that wing together, and I'm going to do that while it's on the model. Uh, I should be able to glue these nacelles and the wings on before I glue those on, uh, which is nice. This actually goes probably like that, I would assume, yeah. So. Um, this turned out real nice. I'm, I'm really excited about the way this turned out. Multicolors, everything from metallic gray to that sea green to uh, a dark gray to the sand color. Uh, a real, real washed out light, light gray here. Uh, there's a subtle difference here between the back of this and this color. And, you know, so I really went four or five colors. Same thing underneath here. Multiple colors there. Some fades on those two pieces with colors and some blue and I'll detail paint those two in there uh, as we go and a little touch up on some of the stuff on the really really light gray. So that is the sensor array. The interior of this is already colored and I'll essentially what I'll do is I'll lay in micro crystal clear here and then paint over the micro crystal clear with the two blues, a red and, and a couple others so that that lights up and there's the same thing here. I'll fill those in with micro crystal clear, let them sit and then paint over those. And again real fine detail painting with the, the brush. Um, the brush I'm using is a .02, uh, and it's a tiny, 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 um, you know, it's essentially like three blades is all it is, and it gives me the real tight details for around the, the tan, and to do that orange uh, strip in there. I used, uh, again, the same white and so forth. Here is the uh, Impulse Crystal that is uh, painted now. Uh, with a white rim and I left this as a Raytheon lighting so that comes through just really really nice and then I just took a, a silver uh, oil based pen and did these uh, vents here and um, then I used uh, a gold on a couple of little accent pieces here here and up on the front I'm not going to put any more gold on it I'm not going to overwork it as uh, Lou Del Masso is proud of saying or, or you know is uh, frequently saying is to overwork it is, uh, is the death of a model I guess um, this is the tan for the front with the gray accents in there. And then I just finished, uh, painting the, um, I just finished painting the glass that's going to go in here. And I, I literally just brought this in from the paint booth, so I don't have any idea what this is going to look like. But I think if I put this in here, uh, that's going to give me, uh, that's going to give me a nice look there with the white bright white uh, when it's lit up and then same thing with the glass here and I guess uh, we'll see what this looks like as I bring it off so I think I'm okay with that that is going to go up into the base of the frame here so I was able to get my little black uh, frame around that so it's not totally black and yet it's going to have the white in there uh, to uh, to light up because that light will re either reflect off of it or shine through it. Um, so that's been painted white along with the other windows. So uh, we'll get those glued in after I do a gloss coat because uh, the windows will be probably the second to last thing that actually goes in here. Due to the fact that uh, I'm going to have all the top done, as I said, turn it over and then wire into... Um, all the different wiring that needs to be done once I've got the wings glued on, the nacelles glued on, 
uh, then I can flip it over, do all the wiring, then put the glass in, and then um, and then so seal up the hall and do the touch-up painting around there. So lots and lots and lots of progress. Uh, all of this was hand-painted detail with the white here, the white around there, and um, you know we're I'm seeing good progress. The next step would be to finish up the base uh, of the hull or the bottom of the hull, bottom of the ship, get that finally painted and then put a, uh, a coat, like I said, a coat of gloss on this in order to do the decals. The, um, I don't even know what these are called, they, they remind me of like turnbuckles that you would actually lock the ship down, but it looks like it's got a yellow thruster in there. Those are going to go uh, onto this piece right here. I think it goes something like so. And it goes one for the left and one for the right, the way that they fit in. Um, and then they wrap around from the bottom of, of the hull as well. But those have been painted. And then the side wings or side steps have been painted with a thruster in the back. And then tan for the phaser strips. Uh, and then the gray, as a, I'm not sure if that's a step or a wing or uh, an altitude or an atmospheric uh, wing and so forth. So this has been a significant exercise in taping. Uh, taping off all the different colors and then you can see on the side here uh, you know all of these were uh, painted and then a tape color removed the tape and and, uh, and and like I said I tend to get lost in what color I've painted where and uh, I've even found models where I forgot to pull peel the tape off uh, weeks or, or days later so with that this is uh, uh, good progress as a friend of mine says you know progress is progress and we will uh, move forward with uh, pulling off some tape, painting the bottom, and getting some gloss on here. And then from that standpoint, I think we're ready to start gluing on the wings. I've got both of those ready to glue on. Those will probably be next. And once those are glued on, uh, you'll see fast progress because uh, we can turn it over, get the wiring done uh, on the inside, and start with the switches. I've got some very cool switches that I think are going to look pretty nice in here. Uh, actually they're right here and these were um, about three dollars a piece so they're not inexpensive uh, but they are pretty high quality they're metal switches and uh, they're eight millimeter around so less than a centimeter across uh, this is probably a full centimeter on the flange you know from here to here I haven't measured it but that's probably what that is and then this is just a simple on and off. And this should have four or five switches on it on the base. And I haven't even decided what I'm going to do yet with the base. But um, rather than having a great big switch, and I've, I've used several of those before. You've seen them on the toggle switches. And rather than, um, I've used toggle switches. And I've used... Um, uh, momentary switches so you can see the size difference here of a momentary switch that I use for the anti-collision lights or the strobe you can see the difference in size uh, on that switch right there and now this is not a momentary switch this is uh, either on or off so just uh, bring in a red hot and a red hot out and then when it's engaged you engage it when you're unengaged disengaged it's disengaged um, Here's another uh, idea of size example of that uh, large uh, toggle switch. Now those are lit. These are not, uh, like I said, these are about three bucks a piece, but um, I think it's well worth it. I think it's going to look really nice depending on the base that I put it on, put them on, and install uh, from there. So with that, this is the uh, completion of the first half of the update number three of the Star Trek uh, USS Rio Grande. Uh, from Polar Lights or Round 2 and it's a repop of an old AMT Ertl uh, kit and I've got a lot more fun with this one than I think I had when I did the first one back in the early 90s when it first came out. So with that this is the Sloppy Modeler and we'll see you in a few minutes uh, on uh, the second half of update number three. Thank you. Hey I know it's just been uh, a couple of seconds since the uh, last update uh, in update number three, uh, for me it's been a couple of days, and uh, as usual, this is not the state that I left it in uh, just a little bit ago. In the advent of adding the wings to the uh, K-1 
kit here. I had both of the nacelles. Uh, I had both of the nacelles epoxied onto the wings, and the wiring run through from uh, coming up from the nacelles and then down into the the kit. And I lost the back light that is for the anti-collision light simply wouldn't light, would not light, would not light uh, as we went, right? So, uh, I had been working on this upside down and I popped it over, turned it over to remove that nacelle and fix that light, crack open the nacelle and, and, and fix it. And of course, uh, when you're working too fast and not thinking, I uh, superimposed this nacelle for that nacelle. This one works great. Uh, this one does not, so I actually pulled this one off, so I'll have to sand this down and respray it with the uh, sky gray that I'm using for the base there. That one uh, should be ready to go and put back put back on uh, pretty quickly. I opened this nacelle up, and actually I took the opportunity while I was at it to, to fix a couple of things. Number one, uh, there were some uh, um, problems with the blue on the nacelle, and actually I see how I've still got a problem with that side, uh, the chiller grill. I fixed the other one, the, the, the other side is fixed, uh, but I need to actually brush a little bit of that transparent blue onto that, that chiller grill. Same time I took the opportunity to fix a couple of things as far as uh, the, the lighting and how that uh, would become diffused and to fix a couple other things with some super glue. One of the things I was having a, a lot of trouble with via my super glue, uh, it just takes too long to set up and I know that seems uh, acronistic but it, it took a long time, especially like if you're gluing something down like this here where that might take, you know, two or three minutes to dry out. Um, the kick is, uh, or the trick is to use the InstaSet accelerator. I use this, uh, you know, for all CA glues. That works great. But I found that spraying that on causes, you know, just the, the, the stuff gets everywhere. So I took some of that and put it into uh, this syringe here. And that allows me to put a drop of that exactly where I want to put it. So you can see there I just dropped a, a spot and then uh, pull, that, um, pull that syringe back a little bit and you're, you're clear to go. So that is actually pretty nice. I, I, that works out pretty well. In hindsight, I think what I would do uh, is the next time I do this model or if I did it again, I wouldn't glue the nacelles to the wings and then the wings to the model. There's the opportunity with the way this lighting goes and the way I've done the wiring, I could have actually have glued uh, these on first and made sure they were set and then put the nacelles on after that. And I think they would line up better. Um, one of the things I was cognizant of though is making sure that I had enough space between here and here. But you can see I screwed up my paint with the epoxies breaking some of that loose. So I'm going to have to rebrush that and, and polish it up a little bit. Uh, same thing with down here. Just clean it up where uh, ha I had those epoxied in. So lesson learned. Uh, I'm not sure why that light died but it did. Uh, it Maybe I pulled on it when I was trying to move all this wiring through there and that might have caused uh, um, the short or, or to just come undone or just burn out whatever the challenge was. One thing it did allow me to do, this nacelle uh, chiller grill was not only uh, dinged up a little bit, but it was tilted inward, and I had glued it that way. This, now I had the opportunity to, to take it back out, and it will glue in a lot nicer when I put the top back on. I'll put the top back on, what I'll do is I'll scrape these, uh, these joints again with the back of my Stanley knife, and then um, re-glue them, and then I'll have to I'll probably re-putty and retape and respray this entire nacelle before it goes on. So uh, that is what happens when things don't go right. And I was trying to make sure on this particular model that I did not have um, an instance where I had a, an, a light that was out. I had one on my Cylon Raider. I had one of the um, one of the nav lights was out. Not an anti-collision, but a nav light was out. Uh, and in this case. Um, I wanted to fix it. So I popped it open, fixed it, 
and now we're going to re-glue it and we've, we've taken a couple steps back. However, uh, this won't take too long to, to recover from, uh, maybe an extra day in the program. Uh, I am getting close. Uh, once I put this nacelle back together, I can affix the other nacelle tonight yet. I'll get that handled and done. And then once the, this nacelle is put together, I can affix that. And that means then that I can then move to adding the lighting or the wiring into the wings. And again, that's going to be a challenge because those wings fit into here and the wings are going to be the last things to go on. So essentially what you're looking at, the wings will go on like this and then this model will sit here and that wire, one of the leads will fit down through that wing and one of the leads will fit down this wing then feed down into the uh, then feed down into the hull and from there I can wire that um, I'm not sure I've not given any consideration to what switch I'm gonna put those sensors on I think I'm gonna gonna put it on the same circuit as the lights uh, I've been giving some thought to how this is all gonna come together what lights turn on with which switch I don't have a want to have a bank of 30 switches I might have five or six the way this is coming together with all the different groups, but uh, for this uh, kit and this timing, uh, I definitely think I'm going to turn those on, the sensor lights on front and back with the, um, with the lights that general go on. So that should be okay once we're, once we're to that stage, but it all has to kind of, kind of come into a build order. And I think we're getting there. There's just a little more work to be done to make sure that it, it comes together right. So with that, this interim update is uh, uh, coming to a close, and uh, thank you. And we will be back uh, after a while with uh, the second half of update number three. All right, hey, welcome back to the uh, Sloppy Modeler uh, update number three. Uh, you saw we had uh, the challenges with the nacelles putting those uh, together and uh, then having the lights go out and then uh, putting them back together painted. So. What you see here is uh, the progress so far here on update number three. You can see that the bottom of the hull is done and had a clear coat and ready for decals and the top uh, is uh, been clear coated with a bit of a gloss finish there and some of the rudimentary first decals have been put in place. You can also see that the uh, nacelle, uh, both of those are uh, in, attached. Uh, they've been repainted and re-glued and put back in place on the uh, on the runabout. And so, uh, we're headed into the 4th of July uh, holiday weekend, and uh, I actually have uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off, but I'm headed out to do some dirt biking and uh, some ATVing up in Upper Wisconsin, so I'm pretty excited about that. However, consequently, what you're seeing here in this update number three will be the last progress for this week and uh, we'll have to take it up uh, next week, the uh, week of uh, the 7th or so after the 4th of July holiday weekend. And uh, we uh, uh, are uh, really excited about how this is coming together, making great progress now. Uh, the next step is to actually do all of the wiring uh, underneath, uh, collect, uh, connect all the nav lights, the regular lights, the uh, anti-collision lights, the thrusters, the wings and the um, the finally the, uh, the the nacelles with the Bassard collectors and the chiller grill lights and uh, those have all been uh, uh, inserted into the uh, hull so I'll flip that upside down and start uh, connecting all of that wiring and then running uh, each of those individual circuits down through the um, center mount post and uh, from there putting together the um, putting together the uh, uh, final uh, base as, as it comes together. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the, uh, the subscriptions and I appreciate the help that uh, all of you are providing. Go ahead and like this video and share it with your friends if you found anything interesting or helpful. And with that, this is the Sloppy Modeler signing off. And we will see you after a lovely 4th of July weekend.